I want to install MySQL, PHP, and Apache, and pay nothing. So I have to go to this website, www.apachefriends.org, right here. You will see this. Choose XAMP at the top. You'll see this screen. Scroll down to here. Click on this link, XAMP for Windows. You'll see this screen. Scroll down to right here, XAMP Windows 1.7.7. .7. Select this, the installer. The countdown begins. Your XAMP download will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then you get a screen. Click here. Save file. Download is now complete. Right click on the file. Choose this option. Open containing folder. There he is. Double click on that file. Xamp 132 dot dot dot. The installation begins. Please select a language. I choose English and OK. Next, C XAMP. That's a good choice. Next, yes, yes, and nope. Install. Now it's installing our system and it's continuing. You get this black screen. And then it says completing XAMP setup wizard. And you click on finish. Congratulations. Start the XAMP control panel now. Yes, why not? There's your desktop icon. And of course, here's the control panel. Turn on MySQL by hitting its start button. It worked. It's running. Now start Apache 2. Click on Start. Done. Now both are running. Click on the X in the upper right hand corner. It goes into the lower right hand corner system tray. This does not shut off what you just turned on. Let's now find out if Apache is really running. Launch Mozilla. Like so. Go to the address box. Key in local host, one word. And Bazinga, this happens. I'll be daring and click on English. Ah, it worked. Welcome to XAMPP for Windows. It worked very well. You should first try status on the left navigation to make sure that everything works fine. So I do. This guy here, status. I click on status and look what shows up. Everything is running. My SQL, PHP, etc, etc. All is well. XAMP is installed. Damn, that was easy so far. Yes? One more thing to do, or MySQL won't work. Click on Start. Click on Control Panel. Performance and Maintenance. Click here, System. Now you're in the System Properties box. Advanced. Environment Variables. System Variables section. Go down there. Highlight or scroll down to here where it says the Path Variable. Select it. Hit Edit. This box appears. This is a semicolon delimited list of folders to be checked when a strange and unfamiliar command is issued, like MySQL. Let's alter this just a tad. Go to the end of this list 
and put in a semicolon followed by c colon backslash xamp backslash mysql backslash bin like so click on ok 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 and let's test for mysql functionality click on start all programs run you'll get your run dialog box key in cmd and ok you'll get this dos like screen let's key in mysql and see if it is running you key in mysql hit enter and it says welcome to mysql monitor your mysql connection id is three ah so mysql is now working arg but my internet doesn't seem to work now hmm i'll shut down that xamp software so i go to the xamp control panel application it shut down time i click on stop next to apache apache stops i click on stop next to mysql mysql stops i click on exit and poof ah now my internet works again so long from hoboken gear